Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. We're at DevNet Create with a special guest, Eric. Hi, my name is Eric Cho. I'm from A10 Networks. I'm very excited to be here and very excited to talk to you, Sylvia. I, uh, I presented yesterday on Elasticsearch. If you missed that talk or you're watching it afterwards, please go check it out, the recording on uh, DevNet. It's so cool to have you here in person because it feels like we talk at least twice a week yeah. on Twitter. Tell yeah. us about how you stay in touch with the community throughout the year. Well, you know, social media, as you keenly aware of the power of social media and how it, it, it groups people who have uh, interest in the same topic. So I think social media is the, the best way and in particular, you know, LinkedIn and Twitter, uh, LinkedIn for professional you know, kind of play nice with each other, and Twitter for more of a relaxed social kind of a setting. So I think those two tools are, are what I use the most to actually get in touch with uh, either readers of my book or um, people who are interested in some of the topics that I presented in Ansible or Python or DevNet. Awesome. Tell us about your book because I have seen some tweets about that recently. Oh, thanks very much. Uh, thanks for the shout out. And uh, so the book is about mastering Python networking, basically using Python to uh, solve your everyday problem as network engineers. And uh, it's basically a collection of the mistakes I made <laughs> over the years. It's like, you know, as I was telling the people about here, it's like if you poke your eye, it hurts. So I write it down, and so you don't have to poke yourself in the eye just to just to get that experience. So hopefully, you know, this is the book I, I wrote for myself five years ago, and um, so I wish I, ha I had this book when I first started out. So I, I put down the experience, and hopefully, it offers value to people. And uh, and as I mentioned it on several other podcasts or uh, videos, is you know I'm actually donating all the proceeds on my end for the book to charity. So. Uh, yeah, and I, I keep a track of it on my blog. Like this month, I've donated to here. This month, I just, to hold myself accountable for. It. So, uh, so I'm not making any money off the book. I, I purely want to give it back to the Python community, the open source community, and you know now the DevNet community. So, um, yeah. So you know that's uh, in a in a nutshell what the book was about. That's so nice that you want to give back. We know that we always need mentors, and yes. as we make this journey, we become mentors. Yes. Tell us about the people who inspire you and the people that you're helping. Oh, well, I mean, the list goes on and on, right? <laughs> like, um, just just because of the context we're in, you know, obviously, uh, you inspire me to be more communicative, to be more clear in my thoughts, to be more uh, open about my own struggle as well. I think you've talked to some of it about you know, um, believe in what you will do, even though the, the past seems long. So, so that's one thing you inspire me of. You know, obviously, Susie Wee and uh, Mandy, uh, they inspire me to, you know, kind of believe in yourself as well. And uh, she talked about some of the books that she follow, you know, in becoming from an individual contributor to uh, a leader in the community and, and how they've actually built a relatively small community into this 500, you know, I don't know, two floors uh, conference is, is amazing. Good shout out to, uh, to Stuart. Um, he's one of the person who's just so nice and, uh, you know, welcoming. And so, uh, so yeah, the, just, just too many to name, but just to name a few, right? That's yeah, just off the top of my head. Now, what other content besides your own presentations yeah. have you picked up here at DevNet Create? Well, you know, so shout out to Stu about uh, his presentation on Golang. Um, about uh, and, uh, Hank's presentation on uh, some of the tools that he's using. I think what stood out to me the most was the Wi-Fi 6 uh, demo booth as well as the, the things that are horizon that's possible. So we're kind of on this, uh, it's a good day to be a network engineer, it's a good day to be a network development engineer because we're, we're just sending out so much uh, opportunities. So I would highly recommend you know, uh, Stu's talk, uh, Hank's talk, the Wi-Fi uh, 6, all the relevant Wi-Fi 6 stuff. And of course, my personal favorite, just because of my day job at A10, is security focused. So uh, so a lot of security talk as well, uh, especially as, it, as it's relevant to Wi-Fi or IoT. Um, just go check it out. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Like Just pick one. Everything is good. <laughs> well, thanks again for being here. And we'll see you next year. Yeah, great to be here. Thanks very much.